Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, and I'm making a quick tip video to show you how to get the best sound out of your Tour Pack pods on your 1998 to 2013 Road Glide, Street Glide, Ultra, or Electra. So watch this video, and I'm gonna show you how to get the best sound out of those rear speakers. All right, so before I get into my tip, let me tell you a little bit about this bike. So Brian's got this beautiful 2009 CVO Road Glide. He brought it to us to do a couple big things as far as an audio upgrade. We did the Soundstream Reserve head unit and it fits beautifully in this fairing. We did Hertz Neo speakers in the fairing and we did the six by nine inch version in the back. So six and a half in the fairing now, six by nines in the rear. We also did the big Hertz 2000 watt amplifier in the fairing. So Brian's like, what else can we do? And he's got this beautiful tour pack on his bike. So we added these pods. Before he had the backrest, he had the leather, but no speaker pods here at all. So we decided to add it while it was here to just go and do everything we could do while his bike was here. He brought it from North Carolina. It's a pretty good trip for him. So I wanted to take the time to show you something. I'm not gonna show you this whole build like we do a lot of them, but I wanna talk specifically about tour pack pods. And I'm gonna start in the future. So 2014 and newer tour packs on your ultras or your limiteds, they're gonna have a pod similar to this, but when you open up your tour pack and you look at the speaker pod from inside, you're gonna see there's a big vented hole. That hole allows this enclosure to use the tour pack as part of the speaker enclosure and get us better sound. All right, so the smaller the airspace we have for our speaker, the less mid bass we get out of it. The speaker's still loud, it develops the high range and the vocals pretty good, but the mid bass is very lacking when you put it in too small of an enclosure. That's a problem we normally have out of lowers. It's a problem we have out of older tour pack pods. All right, so I also wanna mention this bike, if it had factory tour pack pods, would have had a small five and a quarter inch speaker. Now I've already made another video. It's in our step-by-step -step install videos at Volunteer Audio's YouTube channel, as well as volunteeraudio.com, showing what modification is necessary to take that pod from a five and a quarter to a six and a half. It's a very easy process. I've already videoed that, but I've got one more tip or trick to add to show you today to make them sound even better. So when we go to that big speaker and we have that little bitty pod, it needs that airspace we just talked about on that 14 and newer, and this is the secret. So whether it be an inch and three quarter or two inch hole saw, we're gonna go inside the tour pack and we're just gonna drill a hole from the tour pack into the speaker pod. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, so if you take your hole saw and put it between your three mounting bolts, and just drill a hole, it allows this whole area, this big area, to become part of the speaker enclosure. Doing that's gonna give you much, much better mid-bass response. All of a sudden, these speakers are gonna sound much larger and have a lot more presence than they had before. So whether you've already got a system with tour pack speakers and you just wanna drill this hole, or if you're doing a major new upgrade on your older bike, I mean, these radios have got everybody excited. We're upgrading so many older ones and bringing in those modern features that the newer bikes have. I mean, why would you trade this bike in? It is absolutely beautiful. Let's just do the things it takes to make us really happy with it. And as simple as a hole saw, you can open this up and do what the 14 and newers have done and get a much, much better sound out of these pods. This is our tip, I hope it helped you. If you wanna do an upgrade to your 98 to 13 Harley, you need to reach out to Volunteer Audio. You can call us at one 844 audio You can also see kits with all these parts that you would need at volunteeraudio.com. If you got questions, tips, tricks, things you want to add to this, comment below. I'll be quick to answer your questions, or maybe you can share some information with other people what you did to make your system even better also. Definitely like this video. Subscribe to Volunteer Audio also. We love having you subscribe. That way you get to see all the new content as it comes out. If you want to know the latest about Harley Audio or how to use it or how to install it, you need to be a subscriber to Volunteer Audio's YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I hope this helped you. I hope it encouraged you. Uh, and... As always, I want to tell you, God bless.